Let's get her on here. Not hearing anything yet. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. We can hear each other. It's amazing. Hey there, Tara. How you doing? I'm fiddling with your equipment there. I like fiddling with my equipment. Shut up. I'm not here to sit around and wait while you play with your equipment, okay? <laughs> I have things to do, like surf the internet. Oh, and yeah. Watch Anderson Cooper. Yeah, that real pressing internet surfing there. It's true. Someone's got to keep an eye on the internet, make sure it's still there. <laughs> so today I brought you Pillow Hippo. It's a hippo and a pillow. You can crunch it up and stuff the pillow. And it can fly like a flying squirrel. It can fly. Like a flying squirrel. It sort of glides, really. I'm echoing. Echo. Echo. I don't hear it. I'm getting an echo. Oh, well. Weird. Oh, well. Oh, well. So are you ready to start with the nonsense tonight? I am ready for the nonsense. All right, let's, let's do this thing. get the intro ready. Yeah, because we, we've got Catherine. She found a special stuff tonight. I, 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 oh dear. And you found a special stuff. We have special, yeah. All right, here we go. I found awesome. Each week, Catherine goes out in the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff. A little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong With You? What's wrong? It's like the stream is still playing, even though I paused it. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. A very confused look on your face, Tara. Well, yeah, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on here. Well, well just mute it. I did. I paused it and I muted it and it's still just going. My computer might be possessed, but that's okay. Okay. Well, we'll start with our first story tonight, which is... There's a headline. Woman leaves kids, runs into war woods to save world. Woman was arrested in Blount County. Where is this Blount County? Where is this the story from? Blount County. Uh, my Florida. Florida. County? Florida. Florida. Oh, vivo in Miami. Florida. A woman was arrested in Blount County after she abandoned her three kids at a gas station. But the story gets strange. Really. According to Troopers, a bolo, be on the lookout, was issued yesterday morning for the woman's vehicle in Mobile. Later in the morning, she stopped at a gas station in the Hayden Corner exit of I-65. That's when she handed the baby to a man and told him she had to save the world, then ran into the woods. She was found yesterday afternoon by a volunteer firefighter. She was standing next to a mailbox, wearing only her underwear. Cops found her blouse and skirt in the woods. Have the woman in custody. Charges are forthcoming. The children are ages 5, 2, and 9 months. They're in fine and in DHR custody. Was she trying to save the world from naked Bigfoot? Cut. <laughs> I do like the second comment on the story. Sarah Connor, we speak thy name. <laughs> Someday you'll thank me. Imagine that poor bastard at the gas station. She's like, hold my baby. I've got to save the world. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Okay. Good luck. Hi, kid. Your mom's nuts. You know that? <laughs> I, I really, I want to know what she was saving the world from. I know. I want, this is, the, there, there's. A, that's, that's an important detail. There is an epic story to be told here. There it's is. Reminds me, like, I was watching CNN today, because so I watched too much CNN, and they kept running this teaser. Asteroid approaches Earth. And I'm like, well, Fuck. I knew it. We have a black president. The world's going to die in a ball of fire. Right. Sci-fi has taught us this. Yeah, actually, oh, what was it? The, that course, that like, Morgan Freeman was president yeah. in that movie? And yeah. Asteroid K... 2012, wasn't there a black president? Yep. And, and of course... Hollywood like, keeps telling us, yeah. get to the story, and they're like, oh, it's going to miss Earth by like 100 miles. <laughs> well, 
well, then don't fucking lead with asteroid approaches Earth. Because I'm like gathering canned goods and hiding under the desk, you know? <laughs> I just, I want to know her story. Oh, yeah. Danny Glover was president in 2012. There we go. Yeah. Th- so maybe she was trying to save us from the asteroid that wasn't even coming at us anyway. Maybe, she maybe she did world. save us from the asteroid. Maybe she did. Maybe, yeah. You don't know. She could have. She deflected that asteroid with the power of her tits. <laughs> hey, asteroid! Don't encourage them. And don't the don't save that day. don't encourage them. They're 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 gonna. They're... I kept them off screen. When okay. I was... Okay. All right. You can't rile them up too much. They'll get a little, little cranky, and then they have to take a nap. Okay, from where is this one from? Let's see. Story Sydney Morning Herald. This all right. Let's see. It's from U.S. Australia. Yeah, but the story's from the U.S. Oh, I saw this. This was some crazy shit. Um, got a cute hostage, huh? Wanted man updates Facebook status during sixteen-hour standoff. Jason Valdez is no stranger to U.S. police. His latest brush with the law, however, may have been the most public. An armed Valdez, 36, held a woman hostage at a Utah motel in a tense 16-hour standoff with SWAT teams, all while finding time to keep his family and friends updated on Facebook. He even got some help from outside uh, over the social network. A friend posted that a SWAT officer was hiding in the bushes. This is him and his hostage, by the way. I'm going to put this up on the big screen. This is actually him and his hostage. Yeah. That he put on Facebook. really good poker face because she doesn't really look too scared. Uh, After he was told about the SWAT guy, he goes, Thank you, homie, Valdez replied. Good looking out. This, I just, and I bet you that bastard pleads not guilty. Um, when officers swarmed the room, Valdez shot himself in the chest with a handgun. He was in critical condition. Uh, it wasn't immediately clear, however, whether police were following the post in real time. His family and friends responded with 100 comments. Some ple- people offered words of support. Others pleaded for him to, quote, do the right thing. Uh, let me let me see some of his updates. Jason Valdez. Well, I was letting this girl go, but these dumb bastards made an attempt to come in after I told them not to. So I popped off a couple more shots, and now we're start starting all over again at sea. Okay. Um. When you are in a hostage situation, number one, stay the fuck off Facebook. Well, 16 hours. I mean, that's a long time. Uh, you froze on us, Tara. Yeah, I'm trying to... I don't have any extra programs running. I restarted my computer. I... There you go. No, no. All right. Wait, you're back. Come on. Yeah. 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 Radio Dead Air, everybody. There you go. <laughs> there you are. Um, Hi. RDA cares. I mean, it's sad because obviously his family was terrified for him. And, you know, there's this girl involved. And I don't even know how... That like why she was being held hostage or anything, but like what pisses me off is the fact that like his family or his friends were warning him, like yo dog. Yes, that's that's the one that that's the part of this hostage, you asshole. That's a part of this story. Like your buddy is not the victim here. Hey man, the SWAT team's coming in. You should keep your eyes open. Don't do that. I wonder if that I wonder if that qualifies as aiding and abetting. Yeah, I gotta think it does. That's gonna be a funny trial, man. I was just twi- I was just posted on Facebook, and I'm going to jail. No, you're going to jail because you were fucking helping a guy hold a woman hostage. You assholes. I mean, I would think that would make you an accessory or something. It's, it's something. The internet has made it impossible for us to think sometimes. No, I think the internet has just unfortunately made it 
more obvious how stupid <laughs> have always been. We could sort of lie to ourselves all this time and pretend that people are not as fucking stupid as they really are. But now, thanks to the internet, it's in our face all the time. And there's no escaping it. Like, people are fucking stupid and we have to deal with it. Like, how we wound up the top of the food chain is a constant mystery to me. Dolphins are going to kick our asses as soon as they grow thumbs. But uh, this actually, this isn't the only social media related story this week. And hippos, obviously. And yes, yes. <sighs> Group of guys tweet about destroying hotel, according to police. A wild night the police say caused thousands of dollars in damage to a hotel. But it wasn't the destruction that landed the guys in jail. The suspects actually left police plenty of cl clues while police say they were tearing stuff up. They were tweeting about it. But the tweets didn't stop after their arrest. Police say a group of about 10 guys caused nearly $14,000 damage hey, to shit. the- shit! 14,000! That's Is a car! $14,000 worth of shit in the average hotel room? That's if you're that you had to set fire to the bed to do that shit. Yeah, like it's crap IKEA furniture and a really small TV. Like Jesus. Uh, police. It's from South Charleston, uh, West Virginia. Uh, police say they spelled out exactly what they were doing in the room on Twitter, talking about smashing a TV, stabbing a couch, and they even posted pictures of themselves. God, you're gonna have to risk. <laughs> oh. Peeing in the hotel safe. Who would do that? Who the the kind of people that would tweet their crime spree would do that? <laughs> we're so fucking cool. We're wrecking this hotel room, man. Um, but even though they're facing. Felony charges, they still haven't ditched their Twitter TVs pages. Would do that, says Fox. Yeah. One of their tweets about having a warrant out for his arrest and going to jail while their friends have tweeted the mug shots. Wow. They face felony destruction and property damage. So they're not even, like, they don't even have the decency to be kind of ashamed. Okay. Um, I bet you, I bet you these fucking waste of skin have a reality show by the end of the year. Jackass the next generation. Mm -hmm. Well, they're also apparently recasting Jersey Shore, so you know. Okay, I know you pay a deposit sometimes on a hotel room, but I have never considered that deposit would cover breaking the fucking TV and peeing in the hotel safe. <laughs> I think that's a little I bit how did that come up as an idea anyway? Like, because those safes, as I understand Men. it, are like usually inside the closet and pretty high up on the wall. Men. So that, that couldn't have been easy. Men. Like, I kind of commend the effort. Men. Of peeing in the safe because that's Men. like aim and shit. Men. I'm just saying that that's talent. That's the Men. <laughs> Do you practice? P you know what? <laughs> Never mind. We're awful. We we are we we're awful. I know. We are awful creatures. I know. Hey man, I bet you can't piss up there. Bet you can do I it. Thing today on, on Twitter about how you know sometimes I get emails and I just want to like pull them into Photoshop, cover them with proofing marks, and send them back with a grade. Someone wrote me back and they were like, I usually just write D, see me after class. And I'm like, yes, but you're a dude. You can do that. I send that email and they're going to be like, hot, you're going to spank me? And he's like, oh, you're right. You're yeah, a girl. You can't do that. Yeah. Like, no, I can't. Oh, uh, oh, here's a follow-up on a story from, uh, from uh, before. Uh, remember this lady? Let me give you the link here. Um, from, I don't. from Minnesota. Woman pleads guilty to hiding stolen fur in underwear. Remember her? Oh, yeah. 46-year-old woman pled guilty Monday to hiding a stolen mink coat in her underwear. Stephanie Moreland was arrested New Year's Eve by Bloomington police after the Alaskan Fur Company reported a short mink coat was stolen by a woman who had been in the store and acting suspiciously. 
Moore pled guilty to one count of felony theft. Police said she hid the mink in her underwear for three days while being questioned by police in jail. The coat was valued. Incredible. The coat was valued by six thousand five hundred dollars. Not after those three days, it wasn't. Not after those. Okay. If you can fit an entire mink coat in your underwear. Number one, you shouldn't. And number two, you shouldn't. I, I got nothing. Why would you do this? Well, just steal the mink coat, but... And keep it there? But for three days like that? I don't... That's got Three little days? Little sweaty. That's... You know, like having 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 your nooks and crannies wrapped in a mink coat for three days. Like at some point, you had to use the facilities. Did she remove it? They don't say. Do we? I don't. <sighs> the, the logistics of these things always get to me. Like, and I sit around worry. I sit around thinking about this shit because I'm crazy. I sit around worrying about this. Like, did they not search her? How did they not find it if they searched her? Did they think she was just really all natural? <laughs> Lady needs a Brazilian stat. Fuck. Did she never used the facilities? And if so, did she just pee on the $6,000 coat? Because that kind of defeats the purpose of stealing it. Uh, what condition was that thing in? We're going to give ourselves nightmares here. It's kind of what we do here, right? Yeah. Have you watched this segment? Yeah. <laughs> I rewatch the segment after we do it. Yeah. To try and correct my ticks and everything, because I'm not a pro like you. But, uh, you know. Yeah, I'm a pro, sure. You're more pro than me. Oh, boy. Okay, where else do we have? Um, Let me get this story for you. Let's see. Next up. Let's see, where is this from? OC, we Orange County? Uh, yeah, yeah, Orange it's County. OC. Anthrax threat at an Orange County bank causes a scare. Turns out it was just poop. <laughs> what? On Saturday morning, a man walked into a Chase Bank in Lake Forest, at Lake Forest and claimed to have anthrax in his backpack. Naturally, wild, widespread panic ensued. I loved their live stuff. When the police were contacted, they immediately shut down the surrounding street and called in the bomb squad. While details have not come out about the man's intention or whether he escaped with any money, he was located soon after in his car. When police detained the man and searched his backpack, it was determined the contents were harmless. Turns out the man had defecated into his backpack. And here's the kicker. The man with the backpack was identified as Steve Shapiro, 55, he was arrested on suspicion of making false threats he was taken to orange county jail is expected that shapiro will undergo a mental evaluation oh and then, and then this is where mr chase and marshall or miss chase and marshall i'm not familiar with that name tries to get a little funny with the journalism maybe the poop was shapiro's metaphor for how he perceived the music of anthrax the 1980s heavy metal band you that person just failed journalism mm -hmm. you, you so failed the editor who did not remove that shit you failed journalism you fa okay it if you need to use the bank bathroom, just ask them. I'm sure they'll let you. I want to know how people, how, how the confusion, how could you mistake shit for anthrax? Well, I, I have anthrax in here. Smells like shit. <laughs> it doesn't sound like anybody looked until the bomb squad showed up. <laughs> oh, CJ47. He always has the best comments. So the anthrax threat was a bunch of shit? <laughs> Can it, CJ47? You're, you're not taking my job. That's, that was a good one. That, yep. <laughs> Just, I, I mean, it, does he hold what, it? What's the thought process there? Like, you don't need anything. If you're just going to make a fake threat, you don't actually need to have anything in the backpack. To claim yes. that you have anthrax. So you don't actually have to take a shit in your backpack <laughs> to claim that there's a bomb in there or anthrax. You could just walk in with an empty backpack. You could walk in with a backpack full of beanie babies. Baby powder. Baby powder. Well, yeah, but obviously he wasn't going for the actual look of anthrax. No, 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 no. 
Although I am reminded of a comedian way, way back who said you could hold up a bank with a booger. <clears throat> you know, uh, did he have a gun? No, man, he had a booger. Isn't there a whole Charlie Sheen movie about how he held up a bank with a Butterfinger bar and then kidnapped Christy Swanson and then they fall in love in the moving car? It had Henry Rollins in it. How do we know this? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the guy, the guy had... <sighs> yeah, he, he really went the extra mile on this one. He, I don't know what kind of realism he thought he was going for, but... He really had to sell it. He just... Yeah, but he didn't, though! <laughs> he didn't! No! <laughs> Selling it! You're doing it wrong! God, <laughs> fuck! Right. He failed at selling it utterly. Uh, oh, here's this one's just uh, we have our naked crazy. We definitely have our naked. Oh boy. Forsyth County. Where this is Georgia. Horse trainer arrested for driving naked, smoking meth. Oh, look at the name the date line. Coming. Yes, it's it's coming. And there is it. Spelled. C U M M I N G, that there is a coming Georgia. A renowned Alpharetta horse trainer. Naming. Yeah. A renowned Alpharetta horse trainer has been arrested in Forsyth County for driving naked while smoking meth. Forsyth County. Yeah, Forsyth County Sheriff's deputies arrested 46 year old Kenneth Aceball June 8th after finding pornographic magazines and a pipe with meth residue in his car. Close friend Ann Clements told News uh, that Acebell once wrote uh, on the short list to com- was once on the short list to complete compete in the at the Wow. <laughs> Acebell was once on the short list to complete compete in the Olympics. He enjoys the respect and admiration of trainers and riders. Not anymore. Um, Clements said the June eighth arrest was the result of stress from an earlier arrest. On child molestation charges. And it just stopped being funny. It's okay. Well, no, I mean, I don't know. That's not stress. That's that's you're an asshole. So, so, okay. I'm really sorry that you're stressed out about your child molestation arrest. Actually, I'm not. I, I don't feel it bad for you at all. Unless you're innocent, which, you know. But, but, you know, I don't think an innocent person would take porn, meth, a car, and no clothes, and head off into the wild blue yonder. It is somewhat abnormal behavior, yes. That's not what I think but of. hey, you know what? What? I'm going to go ahead and look at the silver lining here, because this is a story that involves someone who is potentially a sexual deviant and works with animals, but he didn't fuck the horse. <laughs> Is that what we've come to? That's what we've come to. We, that what we've come to you is... You know what? He didn't fuck the horse. At least he didn't fuck the horse. That's what this show has come to. Oh my... Oh, uh, yeah. You're right. That's that's, that's, that's that's the low to which we've descended. It's the only thing resembling a silver line. At least he didn't fuck the horse. All right. Well, as far as we know, but you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to wrap myself in that little warm blanket of hope. <laughs> yeah, that's like that. that Ra- snuggie of hope. Radio dead air. At least he didn't fuck the horse. That's that's a tagline. There you go. Right there. Oh, boy. And now here's the one that you, Catherine sent me. You sent me. Oh, everyone special. sent me this story. It's pretty goddamn If special. Okay, look, kids, if you're eating, put your food down. If you want to eat, don't. don't. If you're drinking anything, set it aside. Hello. Brace yourselves. If oh, don't say oh. oh. Sorry. Brace yourselves. If you have a well, weak stomach, you may want to mute the stream. If you're German, you're all good. Oh. Okay, that was funny. That was funny. I guess that was funny. Boulder police, feces stained man. Hidden portable toilet tank escaped chase. Mm-hmm. Boulder police are looking for a man who hid in the tank of a portable toilet at a yoga festival. Now, I want to be clear. 
Like he wasn't just hiding behind the door of the porta potty. No. He was in the he motherfucking porta potty. He was in the porta potty. Like down fucking under. Yes. A woman at the Hanuman Festival went into the portable toilet Friday and noticed something moving in the tank when she lifted the lid. The woman exited and asked a man nearby to look inside the tank. The man told police he saw something moving under a tarp. And when he left the toilet, he heard it lock from the inside. Security supervisor then... <laughs> Security supervisor then waited outside for the person to emerge. When he did, the supervisor tried to get him to sit down, but he ran off covered in feces. And it gets worse. The suspect, who was not wearing a shirt or shoes when he came out of the toilet, described as a white man in his 20s wearing gray sweatpants, about 6 foot 5 to 6 foot 8, with a skinny build and black hair. Uh, witnesses said he had cuts on the back of and arms. Some of the festival said he might be a transient who goes by the name Sky. Okay, Diagoras, he was not living in there. He was down there... You'll find out. We have show. a follow-up. We have a follow-up. But th th the guy's not only covered in shit and presumably urine, he's covered in scratches. And not only that... Which are open wounds into which presumably at least some of this shit and urine has embedded. Not only that, he's oh. six foot five. Possibly yeah. six foot eight. Yeah. I didn't think I'm kind of impressed that he got in there. I know. I don't I don't think they're that deep. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of you know what? As disgusting as this 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 story is, I'm kind of that's that's kind sure, of impressive. It was a yoga festival. Oh well yeah, 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 it was a yoga ah 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 But wait, it gets better. But just just pick, think about that, people. You're covered in open wounds and excrement. Here he is. This is Luke Crisco. I'm not making up that name. Luke Crisco. If only he'd stayed home with Crisco and porn. Um, I wanted to start a new goddess religion. The man who admitted to hiding in a portable toilet at a yoga festival said he first started his voyeur -like, voyeuristic lifestyle while traveling in Europe. Lurk Luke Irving Crisco, 30, said in a jailhouse interview uh, he had trouble meeting people on his travels abroad because of the language barrier. I got bored and I guess a little horny. Crisco said he was living in the woods in France years ago with some friends, went to a recreation center, said he was wandering around inside the center where he ventured into the girls' locker room and noticed a loose vent where he decided to hide. The chick started showing up that I never had a chance with, but I figured at least I can see them change or something. At I've least he's aware that he didn't have a chance. I mean... Yeah, I've come to know how interesting they are. Um... <laughs> As though that's a fucking revelation. Men find naked chicks interesting. <laughs> Film at 11. Okay, it gets worse. Um, he made his way to Boulder where he said drilling holes and peeping became part of his daily routine. He tried to set up several porn sites and escort services while living in a hostel. I Apparently he tried to, yeah, he tried to set up a non-profit. I wanted service. to start a new goddess religion. I always wanted to be a pimp or create a church of porn or a church of tantric, someplace people could be spiritual, but also instinctual. Last week, yeah. at, the, last week, week at the yoga festival, he climbed into a portable potty, but wasn't caught until a second toilet peeping Friday. He climbed in on Thursday oh. and then did it again on Friday. While he regrets the decision to climb into the toilet tank, he said he enjoyed it. I thought... This is really amazing. I've been blessed and anointed by the makers of life. <sighs> blessed and... That's not how baptism works. <sighs> Holy you know, fuck, You know what Tara. the worst part is? We live in an age where porn is so easy to get. I know! You want to watch women go to the bathroom? Google! It's free! 
There's probably 400 websites with videos of women going to the bathroom right now. Would he link them? I don't want them. I know what it looks like when a woman goes to the bathroom. If you have $50, you could probably get a woman to go to the bathroom on you. Uh, I, uh, I didn't need to get to this point. Um, this man exists. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? This is every day. If there is indeed a God, every day he looks down and he thinks to himself, Dolphins. I should have gone with the dolphins. I'm telling you, the dolphins will be our undoing. The douchebags of the sea. If you find yourself. I love that the channel is focused on how I know what it looks like when a woman goes to the bathroom. Really? She's been to the bathroom at some point in her life. Hello. God. But just, it, at, at some, he, if you are sitting at a porta potty in the tank and thinking to yourself, this is the best thing ever, you have officially failed life. Yeah, something's gone wrong somewhere. You have failed life. You, you, you have done, you failed. There's no retest. There's no extra credit. You have failed. You've got a zero. Definitely went awry. You've got a zero at life. I, I, fuh. I have, I've got this, I've been physical pain here, trying to make sense of what- It's not from being covered in scratches filled with feces, is it? He's gonna have, oh, the CDC is already oh calling- God, Infections. Oh, hey, I think Boulder? I why that was the worst part to me. Boulder, can we have this guy? Yeah, he's just like a walking Petri dish. Can yeah. you send him on over? Thanks. I don't know why that's the part that that squicked me the most, but it did. I was just like, "Oh my god, the infections!" I just, I the don't. Giant septic festering. I don't. We're ever. Nothing is going to be good ever again. It will. It won't. It's well, not possible. Well. That's just goddess religion. What? This man wanted to be a pimp. What? 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 He wanted to be a not-for-profit pimp. What? He was a philanthropist. Yeah. Okay. What? 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 On us people. What? Mother. We've gone to plaid. Oh, I guess that's that's everything for tonight. There's to everyone who has ever made fun of me for going vegan. This fucking guy. I'm not sure how those are related. User, Arkle. Oh, I guess I guess that's that's we can't top that one. No, I don't think we're gonna do better than that, sir. All right. Well, thank you, Tara. I I think. <laughs> Good night. It's it's why you love me. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Night. Okay, and that was what 